Gamers, I have a problem with Thor. No, I don't have a problem with him dyeing his hair and face once he got to Earth. Dyeing your hair is a totally normal thing that you can do if you need to do that. No, I don't have a problem with his brand being so close to my own. Nothing bad personally or professionally is ever gonna happen to Chris Hemsworth. What I have a problem with is his hammer. This physics-defying hunk of Uru has caused me a lot of headaches over the years. I think it weighs weird. I think it decides weird. And for our purposes today, I have good reason to believe that it may in fact throw weird. So if we are going to test the throwability of Mjolnir as a weapon, first we need to define and explore projectile motion. Heza! Wait, no, we should go outside for this. I don't want to smash through another blast door. Now entering the facility. If we are gonna really test the throwability of Thor's hammer, we're gonna need a real Thor's hammer. To me! <laughs> Still worthy. So here we have a screen accurate three and a half kilogram solid metal Mjolnir made by friend of the facility, the Hacksmith. Now you've seen how this weapon moves in the movies. It flies straight, it tumbles through the air, it makes 90 degree turns that are literally physically impossible, but in real life, any throwing weapon like a knife or axe or shuriken or indeed Thor's hammer will move through the air in a very specific way. It will rotate about its center of mass. Now watch this. The motion of any irregularly shaped object may look complicated, but if you look closely, you'll see that one point will move with a perfect parabolic trajectory. Since the only force on a projectile is gravity, ignoring air resistance, as we always do, it will always move in a path like this, as any initial vertical velocity is eventually overcome by the negative acceleration due to gravity. No matter the object, no matter how weird the shape, no matter whether or not you're throwing sticks in the park while people look at you like a weirdo, a projectile will always rotate about its center of mass along a parabolic arc. The center of mass of a throwing weapon is important because that's what determines how you throw the weapon. If you want Mjolnir to hit some target here, it's going to have to make at least one full rotation before it hits the target. And that determines how far you have to be away from the target, at what angle, at what time, at what velocity you throw Mjolnir. And I'm worried that the center of mass of Mjolnir being almost right in the head because it's so heavy will make it a less effective throwing weapon than we see in the films. But to determine that, I need an expert, someone who's not me. So, Mjolnir, find me a throwing weapons expert who also just happens to work at the same place where they train John Wick. No, really. Ah! Whew, look at it go. You know, while we're waiting for our expert, I'm gonna show you a little science trick. How to measure the center of mass of anything, no matter how weird or how hammery. Now don't worry, that one was just a spare. I'm still worthy. Now if I wanted to measure the center of mass of something like this, I must first realize that any object in equilibrium will have no net forces on it. No pushing, pulling, or torque, or rotational forces. Therefore, if I were to suspend it, above the surface of Earth, its center of mass will be pointing straight down towards the center. It has to, or else it would be spinning or something. So what we can do is use this to our advantage. All you need is a string. I'm gonna use uh, Alan Pan's WonderCon badge. <laughs> He's not gonna need that. Okay, so I have this lanyard here. I'm gonna suspend it from the same place I suspend Mjolnir. I then pay attention to where this line is going because it's gonna be pointing straight down through the center of mass of the object. You can draw on your object. I'm not gonna draw on my hammer. We then do this two more times. So I hold up this very heavy hammer just with my two fingers because I'm amazing. And then we hang the string from the same spot. Looks like it's going right through, diagonally through the center. Do it one more time. I suspect it's gonna do that again. And as you all see at home, once we gravitationally triangulate the center of mass for this hammer, it appears to be right there, which may or may not be the whole problem. So go ahead and get out there and measure the centers of masses of anything you want. It's not illegal.
For today's test, I've recruited Tasty Danger. She is an all-around badass who has worked in films, video games, she's an expert weapon thrower, and she just so happens to work at the same place that trained John Wick. No, literally. I can't think of a better person to help us smash some stuff today. So this thing just comes to you? Yep, so Tasty, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here to draw on your expertise as a weapon thrower. We are here to throw Thor's weapon. I suspect that it may be weird or ineffective because of how the mass is distributed, but as a weapon thrower, what do you think of this thing? So right off the bat, super axe head heavy or hammerhead heavy. Um, I usually stick to trick shots, you know, two, using two axes, one in each hand or throwing it one way. I don't know, maybe I might try orthodox way with this, which is the two hand, mm -hmm. um, just, you know, for risk purposes. Um, but other than that, I don't know, it's gonna be fun. Let's see, I think it could definitely do some damage. Based on what you see in the movies, mm -hmm. do you think that Thor is using this effectively? Like, do you see him throw it in a way that you'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. You know, he, he, he's Thor, he's a god. You know, he could literally- <laughs> So that's a no. He could literally throw it like this, and it, yeah, He does throw, I mean, to his credit, I mean, does, he, he does do some trick shots sometimes, right? Oh, where, yeah. he's like, where he's like that and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. That might work. Yeah, I, well, we'll, we'll see, I gotta save my wrist, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so <laughs> speaking of which, we need to have the controls for our experiment. So yeah, would yeah. you mind throwing some sweet axes behind us? I thought you'd never ask. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's hammer time. Right, there we go. You gotta been lifting weights. Oh my goodness. You know what, I, I- You I, broke the wrong thing! You know what I, I, You're supposed to hit the watermelon! I think I need to throw higher. This seems like it's doing some damage, which yeah. speaks to this being a decent throwing weapon. Absolutely, yeah. It's, it was super heavy when I threw it. I was, I got the distance right, but except when it goes down, like that means I need to throw it higher. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any damage on Mjolnir here. Yeah. Still pretty good. We have one more shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because this wasn't totally destroyed. Well, you can even see. <laughs> you can that see felt. just from the skin of the watermelon on the back how much force was must have been imparted onto it, right? It split it in half. I'll say. <laughs> Pleasure. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a good shot. So Tasty, you have definitely proven yourself worthy. What do you think of Thor's hammer as a throwing weapon specifically? You know, it did the work itself. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, usually like with axes, I mean, you don't have to throw it the heart or anything, but when you do like trick shots, you have to really kind of think about things, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing I had to think about is, I know with the orthodox way of throwing an ax, that's what I'm gonna do this with. I know that I can hit it, 
but it's the matter of when I should release it, either like top or bottom. So you, know? you think an experienced weapon thrower wouldn't have that much trouble with this. Yeah, it's just, you know, when you first throw something you're unfamiliar with, you mm -hmm. just gotta guesstimate. For so sure. it was my contention that having a weird center of mass, you know, higher up than you're used to, mm -hmm. a lot of the axes and knives you throw are down here in the handle. Right. This one is heavy right up here in the head. Did that make any difference to you? Could you feel that it was different to throw or not? Definitely. What I, because that's why when I first had it in my hand, I was like, okay, let me choke up. And then I was like, actually, it's more benefit for me to have it axe head or you know hammer heavy. So when I start it up right here, boom, I'm just gonna let the forefront do the uh, work for it for me. Yeah, and you what's know? interesting to me, it seems like if this is decent enough to throw, mm -hmm. that unlike an axe or a knife that may only have a few angles right, right. Uh, for which it's dangerous, yeah. this can hit on almost any face throughout almost 360 degrees and still be bone crushing. A hundred percent, yeah. I could have, yeah, you know, any kind of way, it, it this hits you, you're going down, you're done. It, concussion, I don't know, it's, I wouldn't want to get hit in the head with this. Straight through an ice giant? Absolutely. <laughs> if it goes through that? Oh yeah, it, yeah, this well, was cool. This was cool, but <laughs> now unfortunately we have to return it, so just uh, send it on its way. Until next time. Exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want to join the facility, if you want to join me in our official Discord in a silky white lab coat to see behind the scenes photos, videos, bloopers, get private members only live streams with me, oh, oh not like that though. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, get your name on Aria here in each and every video. And as you can see, there's hundreds and hundreds and yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna pass the time. Thank you so much to Tasty Danger for her help today. Her knowledge was invaluable in the throwing of weapons. And just to hit the point home, I wanna make it clear to me that this weapon has much more of a dangerous surface than your average throwing knife or ax. And given that it's so heavy, basically any part of this hitting you is going to spell a KO. So I think given Tasty's performance today and how long it actually took her to more or less master a perfect dead on the watermelon noggin shot, I, I, I gotta give it to him. I, I don't have a problem with him anymore. Oh, thanks for watching. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, shit, what is that? What is that? Ah, it's gonna go. Ah. I'm all covering my hair with that. They love my hair. They love my hair too. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's so big. Where'd it go? It loves my hair. <laughs> Should I throw it? No, I don't want to kill it. Okay, there it goes. It got scared. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, stop it! Go away! <laughs>